Hi guys, how are you? It is Melanie here. I thought we would do just a little fun, um, small project. Something to do right now with nothing to do right now for a lot of people. Um, so I'm gonna be using this. This is one of the IOD molds. Um, so really all you need for this, you need some mold, high net. You need some clay. I'm gonna be using this little box and then I have another one. I'm gonna use Bohemian Blue. You need some kind of putty knife. Hi, Missy. And um, yeah, oh, and cornstarch, it comes in handy. You don't have to have it, but I like it. So we're gonna get started real quick. So I'm gonna try to make this short and sweet. So if you guys didn't see the giveaway box that I'm doing on my page, um, this is how I made the box. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Um, so this is how I made the box that the free paint box will, uh, will come in. And so I got a lot of comments on it and I thought I would show you guys how I did it. So this is, I'm, I'm pretty sure this was like a makeup gift set kind of a thing, um, kind of like a seasonal. So we're just gonna paint it. Um, I'm just gonna get a rough coat of paint on here. And I'm actually gonna do some magic here in a minute and flip to one I've already done, but I just want you to see that it's nothing, you know, nothing special, it's just cardboard, so. Oh, me and my cardboard, right? Yeah, boho blue is the best, definitely. So you can see it doesn't take a lot of paint. This brush was already kind of loaded, so we'll just put that over there to dry. We're gonna do another coat on top of this, so I don't need it to be, you know, perfect, but just get another coat on the lid. I could put gloves on, but well, I don't mind getting dirty. And it washes right off, so whatever. Oops. All right, so we've got another rough coat on that. We're gonna put that over there to dry. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and make some molds. So I you know um, sometimes, you know, during the edited videos, we tend to move really fast, or at least I do, because I'm trying to get through each one. So um, we'll do a mold live today, and you'll see just it takes a little longer than it does in fast forward, but it's the same thing right so ideally when you can you want to use the iod um, clay works the best and i'll show you here in a difference um, in a minute so this is iod clay and you can see that here at home i am almost out this is a different kind of clay that i bought from walmart you and your cart i know <laughs> it's coincidence it's strictly coincidence this box is made of cardboard um, <laughs> I don't, don't want to be crazy when the cardboard kick, but you'll see the difference in the clay. I guess this is going to be a little bit more difficult to work with, but we'll get it done either way. Um, so use what you have, I guess is what I'm getting at. So normally I have my cornstarch in like a salt shaker, but I dropped it and broke it. Um, so I need to get myself another, I like the large ones for this, but meanwhile, we're just going to tap in a little bit of cornstarch just with this chip brush. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to do yet, so I think I'll just tap in a lot of them. And I kind of just, you know, you just spread it around. You don't need a lot, but you want it to be in there. And then what I do is I just kind of just do that. Of course, I'm in my garage, so it, it doesn't matter if I make a mess. If you're in the house, take it outside and give it a tap. All right, so then you need some kind of straight edge. Um, as it turns out, all my other, um, what are these called? Putty knives are filthy because I didn't clean them off after. So they have like grout and stuff on them. So we're gonna use this one. So you take your clay and as you can see, this is my last bit. You just wanna take it and kind of warm it up in your hands a little bit. You don't wanna overwork it where it gets like if your hands are real hot, you don't want it to get smushy, but you wanna warm it up, okay? And then Kind of just make a patty to the size of whatever mold that you're using. So let's go into this one. I'm gonna give it a good push down. And these are fun, you can find them on my website. I'll put that link in there. That's Windmill Vintage Design. So um, these ones and a whole lot more, just depending on what you wanna do. But thought flowers would be fun. It's feeling kind of springy. 
So then you do that. You just take it, you're gonna use the flat edge. I don't ever start from here because that's gonna drag too much. I kind of go like from the middle out. So you just take it and grab it and pull it across like so. Kind of just keep doing that. And this clay even is getting hard and old. I've had it open for a long time. So let's pull it there. So you want it to be pretty flat on the bottom, but it doesn't need to be perfect. After all, this is where your glue goes. And then I always kind of just give it a little varnish like that. And then you're just going to flip your mold out. And there you go, you have your pretty little flower. So it's literally that easy. And we'll put that aside. Let's make a couple more little flowers. Maybe I won't have to show you how horrible that other clay is because I'd rather not use it if I don't have to. So let's squish down in there. And we're gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna pull back. Now, if I had more clay, I would make sure that I'm putting it back in the bag and um, wrapping it up tight so that the air doesn't help set it, which is what happened to this one. I didn't do that last time. It's a little harder and pop it out. So how about, why don't we just make three flowers? Let's do that, maybe four. We'll just use every ounce of what we have. So is that looking? Can you guys see how easy that is? I hope so. Let me know if you've used this product before, if you have this mold, and if you can see it. I sure hope you can. All right, how about this leaf right here? I'll just stick it in there. And squish it down. So what are you guys up to today? Everybody uh, self-quarantining? or been quarantined, I guess. Uh, I don't know anybody who has it, thank goodness, but I know it's, it's out there. So prayers to everybody and hopefully everybody's staying healthy. I don't wanna waste any, so I'm gonna make one more. Yeah, Hamish has still been going to the store cause he's still shipping paint and stuff and product, but I've been staying home, so. Um, just trying to get stuff done over here and make videos for you guys and all that stuff. Thank you guys so much for helping me reach 10,000. That's so awesome. I'm really, really happy. Seemed like it would never happen. And then it happened. All right. So now we've got those and I'm going to go ahead and just put this aside because we don't need it. And... Okay, so the magic of television. We have another box, look at that. Thank you, that's painted already. So let's go ahead and just use these molds. Um, you can use lots of different kind of glues, but I just happen to use a lot of wood glue. Cool, painting project and decoupage. I just, I use a lot of wood glue, so that's what I always have handy. So that's what I'm gonna use. Unless it was metal. If it was metal, I'd use more like E6000 or something like that, but it's not. Let's see if I can clean my glue. All right, so now we're just gonna place these guys on here. So I do have one coat, very rough coat of Bohemian Blue on here. Let's start with the big guy. And I'm just gonna take my glue. So you kinda wanna make sure that you get your edges um, so we don't want anything, you know, pulling up on us. And we're just gonna work it all the way around, making sure that we're getting the edges like that. Have a little bit too much glue, that's okay. That's better than not enough. Let's go right there. I'm just gonna put that down, wipe our fingers off. Baby wipes are always good for cleaning off your fingers. So we could do like a rough placement first just to see how we wanted them. 
And I think I'm okay with that. What do you guys think? So let's pull these ones back off and we'll just start from the lowest layer, which was this little leafy here. And do it again. So these products are really fun. It, it's an inexpensive way. Of course, you can use the molds over and over again, but you know, it's just, think of all the projects you can create. I really wanna do like an Easter basket. Um, I think it'd be fun. You people could make their, their grandbabies or whoever, um, their kids, really fun Easter baskets. And you could make them and then you could even have the kids decorate them themselves, you know, with these molds. You'd have to assist them maybe if they're young, but um, the paint's non-toxic, you know, so it's not gonna hurt them if it gets on them or even if they took a bite, <laughs> which hopefully they won't, but you know, you know, kids are kids. They might, because it kind of smells like Play-Doh. Kids love to eat Play-Doh. And I'll put it right, let's do right there. So I'm kind of overlapping. They're kind of on top of each other a little bit. And that's what I like for this one. So there they are. As you can see, everything's still wet and that's okay. So we are going to move on. Let's put this over here. And okay, we're going back into our Bohemian Blue inks. Oh, which now my hand's all wet from this wipey. Yeah, I need a dry towel. I'll be using shop towels for toilet paper pretty quick. We've got some toilet paper hoarders out there who decided they needed all 200 rolls, you know. Okay, let's do that. Now for this, I'm gonna be a little bit gentle around my wet flowers, but I'm not gonna be that gentle. I'm just gonna be a little bit. This brush, these Klingons are really soft brushes. So I'm really not worried about it smashing. You can see the bristles just kind of bend and get in there. You could use a smaller little artist brush too, would always work, but this is kind of working. I'm kind of globbing it on and then I'll just smooth it out, making sure that I don't have um, any blobs. I don't want to lose any detail, but I also don't want us to take all day. So just really kind of work it in, in there. All around the mold and then what we're gonna do here in a second we're gonna do some pouncing because we want a bit a little bit of texture so that when we do our waxing it just looks cooler that way so now that I have my flowers all covered wait a little bit more okay so now I'm gonna do this number so I'm gonna grab just a little bit of paint and let's go ahead and pounce so when we pounce like that going to eliminate any brush lines, going to give it some texture and just make it look a lot cooler. So let's do that. And then we have to hit it with the blow dryer, guys. Sorry. Let's take a minute. Tell me if you guys can see okay. how fast it dries. Okay, good, thanks guys. You can see as it dries, see the texture that it leaves? Um, pulled back on my thumb right there because it was still wet. Whoops. Did I shut it? All right, so we'll do the sides and then I'll just do the bottom later. We don't have to. No, I won't. We have to do the whole thing. Never mind. I lied. Do that. And we're just going to do the three sides because we need one side for it to stand on while it draws, dries, draws.
Okay, that. Oh, I keep pulling it back because I'm rushing. Okay. interesting does the box have to be painted before the molds nope you could glue it straight on that box if you wanted the reason I painted this one is because let's see it's that really shiny um oops that really shiny paper it's not just like normal if it was like this I would have just glued it but because it was so shiny I felt like it needed something it just helps it adhere and I could be totally wrong okay so your molds are still wet your paint is still kind of wet here I mean, it's not wet enough that it's coming off of my hand, but we know it's only been a few seconds. So you, if you're at home, you have time to be a little bit more patient, but I'm going to try to make this as fast as possible for you guys. So if it messes up, you'll know. Okay. So clear wax. This is DIYs clear. I'm just going to use this smaller brush because we're just going to do the top. Um, and I'm going to try to be kind of gentle because it's, you know, pretty fresh, guys. But we don't want to sit on here while it dries. So if I was doing this at a class at my store, I would, you know, have the girls walk around a little bit um, just to give it just a few more minutes to, to cure a little bit more before we moved on. Um, and everybody kind of paints and does stuff at different paces, so it, it actually works out pretty good if you have someone who's a little bit um, slower or had a hard time deciding what mold they were gonna use. By the time um, they're done, then everybody's has had time to dry a little bit, so. All right, so we have our clear on there. You can see how much it really darkened it up. I know, I just feel bad. I always feel like I'm wasting people's times. I'm a very, um, get her done kind of girl, you know? I realize, I don't know. I don't know what I realize. Let's see. I do realize I grabbed the wrong wax, so bear with me. So we'll get a different one. Here. Okay. okay, so this is my white wax. Actually, I have a big one, but I don't know where I put it, so. And then I like these towels. This is, um, these are the lint-free, like, that you'd clean your TV with kind of towel. And I'm gonna double dip with my, my one I just used, because it's soft. And I'm gonna kind of just go into these details here. Again, we're being gentle because we don't want to smush it all.
nice little coat everywhere so it'll dip into those um, little pouncing we did with the bohemian blue that aside so I'm just gonna wipe this one off see now it's clear again <laughs> I am a get her done kind of girl guys well I just think I don't know I always just feel like people have I guess because I am busy myself I feel like everybody's the same as me you know I love to learn but I don't want to do it for hours get to the point all right so now I'm just gently going in little circles. I want my white wax to stay in those little recessed areas and I want it to stay in that um, texture that we put on there so you can see it. As we go in circles and as this starts to dry, your clay um, paint and your wax will really just start to shine, which is the funnest part about waxing. A lot of people say it's such a so hard and like my arms get tired and you know you do but the the reward when you watch your clay paint and your wax just start to shine is so fun for me like I could see my reflection I love it so gentle I'm kind of doing it like I would do a little baby butt <laughs> we share the same attention span not much of one yeah all right so there so as that dries you know of course i could buff it more but you guys can see how fun that is cute little project box was free but i'm sure you could buy them if you wanted to and all this stuff is available on my website if you want to head on over there we just ordered more iod stuff so we're we're stocked for a very limited time <laughs> and, uh, Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, not with the Corona. <laughs> okay. I have a cold too, and it's not Corona either, but I do have like, I don't even know if it's a cold. I think it's allergies because it's been a while, but I never get sick. I just, I'm just snotty. So thank you guys for watching. Where's the camera? Hi, Shabalot. You guys are awesome. And um, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye. If I can figure out, I can never figure out how to get out of here. It's this one.